In this lecture, I would like to demonstrate a new opt-in email plugin by Elegant Themes called Bloom. This plugin allows you to gain more email subscribers. At the end of this lecture, you can download this plugin and try it for yourself on your own e-commerce site. I have a developer account with Elegant Themes, which allows me to give you a copy of this plugin to try. For this lecture, I'll install the plugin on my demo site. It's a very simple plugin to use with many templates to choose from. I wanted to test this plugin with Storefront to see how it would work. What I find interesting about this plugin, it also mentions that you can trigger an opt-in form for purchasing visitors right after the checkout process. It comes with 12 email marketing integrations. I will set this up with MailChimp. If you are just starting out with email marketing, MailChimp is a good choice because it's free. After you have downloaded this plugin, save it to your computer. Go to Plugins, Add New. We will now upload the plugin as this plugin is not available in the in the uh, WordPress.org repository. You would have downloaded it from the lecture of this section. So click on Upload Plugin. Find where you saved it to your computer. Select the plugin. Click on Install Now. Activate the plugin. Click on the Settings tab. You can also find the options for Bloom on the side navigation menu. So let's create a new opt-in. For the home page, I would like to try the fly-in. For this part, we need to select an email provider. If you already have one, that's great. You can just select this for your provider. I haven't set one up. I do have a MailChimp account, but I'm going to go through the process of setting up a new account to show you how this works. So I will set, select MailChimp. Now to add account, I need to create a MailChimp account. So let's go to MailChimp and create an account. For your email, I suggest you use the same email domain as the domain of your site. So in my case, my site is MerkDrainPlug.com. I will use one of the domain names for that account, for that site. I've heard that if you use a Gmail or sometimes if you use a different email than the one that's for your domain name, it's possible that it could end up in your user's spam folders. So this would pretty much safeguard against that. So I'll check my email. I will activate my account. I'm going to say, no, this is a brand new account save and get started. Okay, I will create a list. I don't have a list. Let's create a list. This is important. This is an email address that I will use. Oh, let's, let's select everything. Okay, now we've set up an account. We will not be setting up a campaign at this moment. So let's go back to our site. Enter name of your account. 
Now we need the API key. So we have a MailChimp account. Log into your account and then click on the account link. This will bring you to your account settings page. Next, click the extra link followed by the API keys link to bring you to the API. So let's go to account links, account extras. API keys. Create a key. This is my key. I will copy. And paste that in the API. And let's click on authorize. So here's my account email list. This is the email list I created when I first joined. So now let's go design your opt-in. These are all the templates we can choose from. Okay, let's just pick one for now. Let's customize it. Okay. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter. Join our mailing list to receive the latest news and updates from our team. You can you can upload your own image. I will leave their image for now. Image load and animation. Slide up. Okay, that sounds good. You can adjust the border styles. I'm keeping it at the default for now. Form orientation. I will keep it at the bottom. No name field. You can enter name field. I'll leave it at no. Just email, subscribe. Keep it at the default. Keep that success message. Let's go to display settings. Orientation, we kept it at right, to the right. Slide up, 20 seconds. That's good. Trigger after enact, trigger at the bottom of post. Trigger after purchasing. Display on thank you page of WooCommerce after purchase. There you go. Display. Display on everything. Let's just do home page for now. Page product. We'll remove these. These are the products that we installed. Display on the post, save and exit. So let's go see if it's there. So we'll refresh. And we will slow, there it is. Subscribe to our newsletter. Just popped up right here. Let's do a test with one of my other email accounts to see if this actually works. You have successfully subscribed. That message can be altered if you would like to change that. Well, that was painless. Now you can start getting subscribers to your site. And with your MailChimp account, you can create newsletters and send them off to your mailing list. 
If you go to email accounts, you could see the email account that was created. Here's the API key in the account list. There are statistics. So yes, I was the only one visiting the site at the moment. Shortly after I completed my email test, I logged out of MailChimp and then I came back and logged in and I went to my list and there's the one subscriber, which is me. There's the email address I inputted. So it worked. Now you can start building your campaigns and this will now help you start building your list.